Welcome to Lesson 1.8's Math Moment. Today we're going to be talking about subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. In yesterday's lesson we talked about adding fractions with unlike denominators and the strategies here are going to be the exact same, um, but once you make the denominators the same, you're just going to subtract instead of add. So I'm only going to show strategy one for these two example problems because the denominators end up being the same as strategy two. If you need to reference which the two strategies I'm talking about, please refer to um, Math Moment Lesson 1.7. So let's take a look first at this example problem. It says 4 fifths minus 1 half. I notice that my denominators are not the same, so I have to make them the same before I can move on. We learned yesterday in Strategy 1 that we are going to multiply the denominators by each other to make them the same. So I'm going to take 5 times 2 and 2 times 5. So I'm just multiplying by the opposite denominator. With fractions, anything I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So if I took the bottom times 2, I must take the top times 2. In this fraction, I took the bottom times 5, so I must take the top times 5. This is going to create two new looking fractions, but they will be equivalent. So 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, I'm subtracting, I've got 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10. My denominators are the same, I worked hard to make them the same so they get to stay the same. Then I just get to subtract the tops, 8 minus 5 is 3 for a final answer of 3 tenths. The next question that students um, worked with today was just taking our strategies for subtracting unlike fractions and applying them to a word problem. So this example says, Megan has 4 fifths pounds of trail mix, Jamie has 3 eighth pounds of trail mix, who has more trail mix and how much more? So this is actually asking me to do two different things. Who has more trail mix is the first part of this question, which I need to figure out who has more. I could possibly use my butterfly method here um, that we learned a few lessons back, um, or I could just use my math thinking and really think about which one is bigger. And then I'm gonna have to figure out how much more. How much more always means to subtract. So let's first figure out who has more trail mix. I'm going to use the butterfly method because it's my favorite. 4 fifths and 3 eighths are the two fractions that we have. To find out who has more, I just draw wings around the diagonal numbers. 4 times 8 is 32. 5 times 3 is 15. 32 is bigger than 15, which means 4 fifths is the larger fraction. Megan has 4 fifths, so I know right away that Megan has more trail mix. So I've now answered the first part of my question. The second part of my question is how much more, which means I need to subtract. So I'm going to subtract 4 fifths. I just figured out that it's more, so it's going to go first in my um, number sentence, minus 3 eighths. Now, I'm going to use strategy 1 to um, make these denominators the same before I subtract. Okay. In strategy one, we just multiply um, the first denominator by the second and so on. So I'm going to take 5 times 8 and 8 times 5. Anything I do to the bottom, I must do to the top when I'm working with fractions. I took the bottom times 8, so I must take the top times 8. Over here, I took the bottom times 5, so I must take the top times 5. This is going to make my fractions look a little bit different, but we need the denominators to be the same, so we must do it. 4 times 8 is 32, 5 times 8 is 40, that is equivalent to 4 fifths, 3 times 5 is 15, 8 times 5 is 40, 15 fortieths is equivalent to 3 eighths. Now that my denominators are the same, they get to stay the same, and I just subtract 32 minus 15. I cannot take 5 away from 2, so I have to borrow from the 3, add 10 to the 2, which makes it a 12. 12 minus 5 is 7, 2 minus 1 is 1, so 
So my final answer is 17 fortieths. So I've answered who has more trail mix. Megan has more. How much more? 17 fortieths more. And now I've answered both questions. Thanks for listening to Lesson 1.8 Math Moment. If you have extra questions, please make sure to see your teacher.